Happy belated Independence Day, year 2022. Happy Independence Day every day. That's what I say. It's so nice to see you again. During the course of a normal day, I had something interesting come across my desk that I thought you might be interested in. It is a KG-9 semi-auto pistol. And while that's interesting as it is, the next day I had something else come across my desk a KG-99 semi-auto pistol. Now, while they may look very similar on the outside, there's something about them that's very, very different. And I thought that we'd shoot a video and add a high-speed camera to it to explain exactly what that difference is. Today we're going to be discussing the difference between an open bolt semi-automatic system and a closed bolt. I hope you enjoy this. So before we get into the specifics of the KG-9 and the KG-99 themselves, let's talk a little bit about the generic open bolt versus closed bolt system. Now closed bolts are the guns that most of us are familiar with. Uh, if you got into firearms after the 1980s, closed bolt firearms might be the only ones you're familiar with. And that is a firearm where, we've got an empty mag of course, we'll pretend it's loaded. You insert the magazine into the firearm. To charge it, you pull the charging handle back, the bolt picks up a round, chambers it, and now you're ready to fire. Next, you squeeze your trigger, which drops a hammer or a striker, and that's what fires the firearm. With an open bolt system, you insert the magazine, you bring the charging handle back, and it stays back until you squeeze the trigger. When you squeeze the trigger, it brings the bolt forward, picking the round up out of the magazine, chambering it, firing it, in which the recoil impulses charge it again, leaving it back at this state till you let off the trigger and squeeze it again, which extracts and ejects the spent round. Now, closed bolt systems are inherently much more accurate. They're, they're much more advantageous for purposes of accuracy because with the open bolt every time you squeeze the trigger you've got that mass of the entire bolt moving forward lurching forward as it chambers that round and firing so the gun is is giving you this motion every time you squeeze the trigger and of course any additional motion on this end equates to a lot of missed opportunities on that end as opposed to the closed bolt when you squeeze the trigger, all it's doing again is letting go of that striker or dropping the hammer and you have very little if any motion on this end. So for accuracy purposes, a closed bolt gun is far superior. But that's if we're only thinking about accuracy. If we're thinking about things like keeping a chamber cool because of a very high rate of fire, such as would be the case with a machine gun, the open bolt gun is more advantageous because there is no round that, that's waiting in a hot chamber for you to fire the next one. Uh, in between rounds, the chamber is empty, it's allowed to cool, and you don't have that round in the chamber waiting, which could lead to a cook-off situation in typically a bigger gun, a center fire uh, gun, or the belt-fed guns, the things that get very, very hot. With an open bolt, there's very, very little chance of that happening. So why do they both exist? What is the, what is the purpose for them? Well, Open bolt guns used to be somewhat popular up until the early 1980s, primarily because they're very easy to make. The firing pin is integral to the bolt itself. When you, again, when you squeeze the trigger, all that happens is the bolt drops, picks up around, chambers it, fires it, and continues. Um, the reason that they became a problem is because in late 1981, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms decided it was too readily restorable to full auto fire or too easy to convert to a full auto because all you had to do is make a simple alteration and it would continue to cycle while the trigger was depressed until you let off it. And for that reason, open bolt semi-automatic firearms became a thing of the past. That's why they're not seen as often today. With these particular guns, 
Um, the history is, again, these are the KG9 and the KG99, a company named Interdynamic of Sweden, and then later Miami, Florida, designed and developed this first firearm. In early 1982, uh, BATF determined that it wasn't legal to sell anymore, so they redesigned it as a striker-fired gun. And then it was a closed bolt design, wasn't a problem anymore. Until the lamestream media decided to make it one of their favorite boogeymen and scared all kinds of people. And that ridiculous term, assault weapon, hit the airwaves for the first time. And things started changing fast with this. The KG-99 was renamed the Tech 9 T-E-C, the Tech 9 and the Tech 9 was such a favorite boogeyman of the gun grabbers that it was very quickly renamed the DC-9. After the DC-9 became called out for whatever foolishness the, the gun grabbers used to look for, once again it was redesigned, uh, typically without the barrel threads, um, which does absolutely nothing <laughs> to hinder its performance, but we're dealing with federal legislation here. And they renamed it the AB9, the Afterban 9. So it actually lived on in several different variations for quite some time. The reason that these two guns came across my desk recently uh, over here at Poland's is because they're coming available for an auction this July in 2022. And it's my job to research and catalog these things. And because we had them both at the same place at the same time, I thought it was an excellent opportunity to get together and talk a little bit about the KG-9 and the KG-99 and the difference between open bolt and closed bolt. So let's stop talking just for a few minutes and get out and fire a couple rounds. It's not gonna take very many before we get the idea how this works. Let's fire a few rounds from the more traditional, the, the more well-known closed bolt semi-automatic and see how that looks close up and high speed. And then let's fire a few rounds from the open bolt and see how that differentiates from the one that we're used to. I hope that you enjoyed this short, quick video about the interdynamic KG9 and KG99, the difference between the open bolt and the closed bolt system. Um, it's, I hope to be able to get in front of the camera and talk with you a lot more often as this year goes on. My health problems are finally starting to be in the rearview mirror, so I'm going to be cleared to be able to do some live fire myself here very soon, uh, and that means we're going to have an opportunity to get together more often. Make sure that you check out our merch on really neat t-shirts over at Bunker Branding, and that if you haven't already, you subscribe to the YouTube channel, and over here, or maybe it's over here, you click the notify button, uh, the bell, so you know when we upload new videos. If you just like to discuss firearms, probably the best place to do that is right on Facebook at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Until next time, have fun and be safe.